Hi guys, welcome to the channel, I'm Kaboom! Yes guys, and we've got a new super troop, and it's amazing, and it's the Ice Hound. Here they are, that's Isaac the Ice Hound, and his friends just hovering majestically above the army camps. So guys, I put together an amazing attack strategy for you, showcasing the Ice Hound so you can see it in action. First of all though, let's just check out the Ice Hound special ability at the bottom left there. Best served cold. Attacks from the Ice Hound and pups slow down their enemies and upon defeat the ice hound freezes its surroundings now that is impressive and of course it's not just the ice hound we have the ice pup and there we go guys uh, quite magnificent yes so we're going to check out the army composition first of all then i'm going to show you an amazing replay where we can see the ice hound in action guys so here it is, here's the army composition. I've put together what I thought was a nice and easy attack strategy to you. So you're going to have 25 balloons, 3 wizards, 8 minions, 3 magnificent ice hounds, 1 ice golem and 2 headhunters. Now your spells are going to be 6 lightning spells, 1 earthquake spell, 2 free spells and 2 haste spells. Your clan castle troops, 2 yetis of Valk and a barbarian by the name of Bob. Your donated clan castle spell will be a rage spell to sprinkle on top. And I'm going to be using... The Log Launcher, which is a bit, you know, a, a ground unit with the air units, a ground siege machine. Yeah, but it works, guys. It gets those heroes into the base, and I'll show you that now. Let's go. So here we go, guys. And, of course, the first stage of the attack is deciding where you can use those lightning and earthquake spells to cause maximum damage. Now, when the new update arrives, scatter shots will have a health increase. So you're going to need to use six lightnings and one earthquake to take out a scatter shot or an expo because they've had a new level as well of course the expo so we've taken out that scatter shot and then the next stage of the attack is deciding where you're going to use your heroes your king and queen so on this base i've decided to put them up there at the top left they can get lots of value out of those structures there and hopefully move into the base and then start thinking about the log launcher i put the ice golem down there as a distraction then the log launcher i've aimed it for the town hall and behind the town hall is the clan castle and of course those logs will take out clan castle troops as well so the log launcher is just moving slowly damaging the town hall i put a rage spell down to help the king into the base and even if he hadn't gone into the base i still have the yetis to take out the town hall as well look at the troops guys we a witch was just uh taken out by a log there off the screen she went and uh, the town hall's down. So that's the first stage of the attack. And hopefully those yetis can take out one of the air sweepers. And they have. So that's perfect. Now, of course, and I'm not brilliant at this. I'll be honest, guys. I'm not brilliant at the sort of lava hound or ice hound deployment with the balloons. But we put three ice hounds down there. They've gone for the air defenses. Balloons behind. Then where's the Grand Warden? There he is. And of course, we've got a couple of headhunters to take out that king if we can. We've got some minions as well and the Royal Champion. And just watch the Ice Hounds. They're quite magnificent. So one of the Ice Hounds has been taken out there, frozen its surroundings. The Ice Pups are there as well. And they really are good. I mean, if you struggled with La Loon, I think this will be easier to use. The Ice Hounds do take a, a larger housing space. I believe it's 40 instead of the... Uh, the Lava Hound's 30, but it's worth it, guys. It really is. They're a great troop. So we've taken out all of those nasty defences at the bottom there. I've sent in the Royal Champion. She's doing a great job. And it should be, you know, quite comfortable three stars now. Now, with La Loon or Ice Loon, uh, what are we going to call it? Ice Loon? Yeah. Uh, now, it takes practice, guys. We all know it's a super strong attack, which a lot of professionals use. Um, but yeah. It takes practice. But like I said, I do think the Ice Hound version is going to be more forgiving. We've got that 300 housing space now, so it's perfect. Yeah. Just practice with them, guys. They're fantastic. And there you go. Just a quick video put together for you. Remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Join the Samoose Army if you want to see plenty more amazing videos. We've just hit 70,000 subscribers, so thank you so much for your support. This is Samoose signing out. I'll catch you later. Take care.